conductor. My materials are a clothespin, a D battery, aluminum foil, flashlight bulb, masking tape, and scissors. My testing materials are paper, rubber bands, coins, and a ruler. Always use safety precautions when performing experiments, eye protection, and gloves are suggested. First off, I'm testing the ruler. The plastic is obviously not transmitting the electricity through it, so the ruler, no good. Second, I'll do a rubber band. No light. Now, I'll try a piece of paper of paper. Not working either. Next up, I believe, is a coin. That's working, and if you can't see that... Oh, uh, yes. It's working. It is working. The coin works. The coins. They were the only one of my testing materials that was able to complete the circuit and allow the bulb to light up. But why? That's a good question, little Johnny. Electrons travel through electric circuits. The coin allowed the circuit to complete itself. It acted as a switch. Rubber, paper, and plastic or wood do not allow for the electrons to move through them and complete the circuit. The metal testing materials the coins were the only materials that allowed for the electrons to move through them and successfully complete the circuit. Conductor! Hmm.